So today I'm, I'm 14 weeks and two days and um, I'll show you a little bit later um, my bump. I have a little bump right now, I wasn't showing but now I, I, I show a little bit. People don't actually tell me that I'm pregnant because I think they're afraid that oh like what if she's not pregnant, what if it's just hamburger belly or what if she's just like fat and also people that see me in the streets and in the stores they don't they don't ever ask if i'm pregnant because i'm in that phase that the bump is so small that people wonder is that really a uh, is, is she pregnant or it's a bump i had one friend that she actually was suspicious that i was pregnant but she didn't say anything and then later when i told her that i was pregnant she's like oh i was suspicious she's a new friend since i since i moved here she was embarrassed to ask if i was pregnant but anyways i, I have to go otherwise i'll be late so I'll talk to you guys later they wanted me to check in by the phone so i called the office i pretty much checked in by phone and now they're gonna call me back whenever they're ready to see me so now i'm just waiting in the car How is it? 150s. Yeah, it's good. Good. Sounds good and strong. It's good. Here we go. Okay, guys. I went to the office and I met a midwife. Okay, so that that was the video and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we talked a long time. I kind of told how was my first delivery and the second delivery. And uh, she was very nice. I really liked her. My next appointment will be f um, five weeks from now. I'll be 20 weeks pregnant and they will do a, a anatomy scan where they can see the baby more closely with more details to see if the baby has any type of uh, major issue probably in December, uh, mid-December, a little bit later than that I think we'll be with the same midwife that was it, like there was nothing, I, I just asked her a few questions there were a few things that I was not used to with other offices uh, you guys know that I this is my third pregnancy they did a uh, collected my urine sample and they sent to a lab and they uh, tested positive for GBS in the urine and the nurse had called me weeks ago uh, that was at nine weeks of pregnancy when they did that and so when they called me that week they said that I would have to get the antibiotics during my labor in delivery for because of that positive test so I thought that was very very unusual having any i've never heard any pregnant lady having gbs tests in nine weeks and doing my two pregnancies they only tested the gbs like in a swab instead of a urine sample 
and it was at 36 weeks of pregnancy both my first pregnancy and second pregnancy I came out as negative for GBS so I told the nurse that I will be requesting a GBS test at 36 weeks of pregnancy again they would do another test again at 36 weeks to see if I my GBS test will still come uh, as positive or negative and then the other thing I asked was about the glucose test you guys know my last pregnancy was pretty painful what I asked her was if it was there was another alternative for the the test because the glucose drink it's really really bad like I hate it and it's plus it's just super unhealthy so I'll let you guys know uh, what we decided and talked about how natural of labor and delivery she is with the hospital and she said that the good thing that they have midwives and so they are very open-minded to have the most natural deliveries and they don't want to for me to have a c-section like if it's not necessary and so she's super like supporting the idea of having a vaginal delivery which is something i want and she was just very very nice to me i really liked her very informative and very willing to hear me and talk to me and i really like that because a lot a lot of times it's just five minutes they okay see you next appointment and they don't uh usually they say any questions and then you ask the questions and then they answer your questions but there's not a lot of talk it's just like small talk and with her like she was really like more engaging in the conversation she would ask more questions she would ask me questions as well not just me asking her questions and it showed me that she was really interested and she cared for what i had to say and uh, from nine weeks until 12 weeks i would say that i still had nausea but it was much better than the first eight weeks so i took the i took the medicine a few times like and every time i took it it was like one medicine like one pill the whole day like usually i would get um at night like because i was having nausea a lot like at 6 p.m 7 p.m and so when the kids are already sleeping I would take the mat and the mat would make me extremely extremely sleepy so what would end up happening is that I would go to bed real early by the time I got the medicine it was actually not uh, not the whole day the whole time anymore the nausea would come and go and then when I was about I would say about 11 11 weeks i just started getting better and better and better now that i'm 14 weeks is gone like i haven't taken i don't remember when was last time i took the medicine i took maybe i took at 12 weeks maybe if i took at 12 weeks so it's been at least two weeks that i don't take the medicine both midwives asked me the same questions the first midwife asked me about how do i get protein in my diet i told her about what i eat and then she said you know you cannot eat just beans not right you have to eat rice as well or other sources of protein I said yes no i always eat rice and beans together at lunch and so this uh, midwife uh, the second one that i saw today she was very nice about it she asked about my vegetarian diet uh, i mentioned to her and uh, she asked again about the protein how do i do it and then i told her how it was just like i was born vegetarian my mom was born vegetarian my husband was born vegetarian we had never had issues with protein levels in our entire lives every time we go to the doctor for do a well-being check and have blood uh, tests and all testing done to see the levels like we never had problems with anemia or protein deficiency or anything like that i we eat a lot of beans uh, rice and beans we eat a lot of rice and lentils we eat we eat a lot of uh, green salads with the food we eat a lot of soy products and uh, tofu tofu replaces like has a lot of protein i still eat eggs that has a lot of protein so nuts have a lot of protein as well anyway so she said well like if you were raised like that you probably know better than than uh, most people how to get proteins in your plant diet so i liked that she said that because it is it is kind of true that we just used to have a vegetarian diet so we kind of know what kind of uh, combinations you do to get protein levels up but anyways guys i'll i'll talk to you later i have to go home and get uh, daniel and the kids to go out and run some errands so i'll see you guys later thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys soon bye